Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Libra Scorpio, your cusp baby reading ends the cusp baby cycle for November, December. So let's get it on the table, shall we? If your birthday falls in the Libra Scorpio cusp, which those dates will be in the description box below, along with the link to skip the spiel and just get right to the reading. This reading may be for you. If it resonates, cool. If not, there is no sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It's that. There is no moon, rising, or Venus. This is sun sign only. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. It wasn't meant for you. But that's okay. We'll try again next month. If you're new here, I think we might vibe and shit. You want to come hang out some more? You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Putting a little more faith in me again this month. Thank you. Anywho... Anywho, we're going to hop right to it. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. If you're a cross watcher in here, trying to figure out your person, I give you props because all cuss babies are just a cluster cuss and a mix of a lot of different energies. And that's okay because that's what makes them special and that's why I feel compelled to read for them once a month. So, all right, two quick things before we invoke. One, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. And two, again, if it's not meant for you, if it's not resonating, just leave it. All right? Okay. A couple quick shuffles. One. Two. Three. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my Libra Scorpio cuss babies in my collective. And any viewers or querents who are coming to view this video, seeking answers. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given and I ask that you help me use it to bring the collective and all querents to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, why the hell? Why are you concentrating on spilled cups? You're in a connection. That could possibly bring you to the happiest you've ever been. And you're concentrating on things that have been spilled. And you're not seeing the two full cups that are still behind you. Let's dig deeper into that. What's going to happen? What's going on? Knave of Chalices, Eight of Chalices reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why? Sun reversed, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Outcome, make or break. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords reversed. Bottom of the deck, High Priestess reversed. Your ego is wounded as fuck, that's why. Mm. Oh, well, that's an answer, I guess. All right. Sounds like somebody's getting in their own damn way. That's what it sounds like to me. It's okay. I do it a lot. No judgment here. I'm not even going to tell you to stop it. Pardon the shaking of the table. Do you? But don't be surprised at the outcome.
Talk to me about this Neva Cups. Neva Chalices, Page of Cups, same card. Talk to me. What's in the cup? Nine of coins. Ten of coins. All right, so... Seven of cups reverse to the eight of cups reverse. This is a comeback. You're so damn afraid of that cup. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need it. I'm okay. No, you're not. You may financially and financially stable and all that good stuff. Emotionally, I'm not feeling it because the seven and eight of cups is reversed. There's confusion. I feel like you double back and say, wait a minute. Because you're confused. You don't know what you want. Why is the eight of cups reversed here? Knight of cups reversed. Queen of cups reversed. Sun reverse, judgment reverse. Yeah. You're not communicating emotion. You're so terrified. You're not happy. You want to try to bring this back from the dead, but you're not communicating any emotion. You're afraid of it. Talk to me about this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Is this why you're afraid of it? Do you think you're not good enough? Somebody out there think they're not good enough? Chair reverse, strength reversed. Might be what you communicate. I'm trying to close this gap. Let loose. Magician high priestess. Want to get something started. You feel compelled to get something started. One on the magician. Five of coins reversed. Coming out of the cold. Six of coins reversed. Okay. One on that. We're going to move on. Cut off in communication, throwing in the towel. Why? Why? Are you confused? You're so terrified. You're so scared of it. Stop staring at the three empty cups on the ground. Why are you looking at the three empty cups on the ground? Yeah, this is a Libra reading. Don't take offense to that. I'm a Libra rising, so I get it. We have a tendency to a little bit w be a little bit wishy-washy, so. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what you want. You know what you want. You're afraid to go after it. Okay. All right. Okay. Why is the sun reversed here? Sadness, despair, not acknowledging a soulmate connection, king of cups, the emotion's there, but it's not being expressed. One more. Nine of swords reversed, ten of swords reversed. No sleepless nights over it. I'm not putting something painful to an end. 
Not letting the sun shine in your life. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Communication. Sometimes the Page of Swords tells us shit we don't want to hear. But he speaks truth. Why is Two of Cups here? Talk to me about the Two of Cups. Five of swords, six of swords. Okay. Somebody felt defeated? One more. Knight of swords to the queen of swords. <laughs> Yo, I'm out. Bouncing out like a birthday party bounce house. Somebody went off and just tried something new with someone else. Decided to put their energy in somewhere else. I think that's... Was it you or was it them? I mean, the conversation happened. Ooh, one more. Temperance devil. Tried to keep the energy positive, but there's this air of toxicity and binding energy. Somebody couldn't breathe. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Emperor reversed, character reversed. Somebody was concentrating on work and money and not concentrating on the connection, putting efforts in elsewhere. Things got out of control. Ace of coins refers the seed didn't grow. Nine of wands, ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. Walls went up. Somebody was guarded. Star reversed, moon reversed. Lack of healing. But things becoming clearer. Somebody finally, somebody finally started seeing the light. They realized what they were doing. You're still staring at the three spilled cups. All right, what's this outcome all about? Why is the six of pentacles reversed here? Four of swords reversed to the five of swords reversed. And yeah, this is never going to even up or level out if you don't process the heartbreak. Ten of swords into the ace of swords. You can't start over until you end the pain. You're still carrying this. You're still staring at three spilled cups. Four of coins, five of coins, bottom of the deck. You're holding on to this and only keeping yourself out in the cold at this point. Why is seven of swords reversed here? As the make or break in this connection, in this situation, this scenario. Why the seven of swords reversed? That's a card of truth being spoken. Hereford reversed, lovers reversed. Somebody needs to have a conversation about fear of commitment. Three of coins reversed, four of coins reversed. Bottom of the deck, high priestess reversed. Somebody needs to have a conversation. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's scared. Growth cannot happen. Until this conversation happens. All you're telling this person is that you can't. Or you want to, but then you don't want to. You're not telling them why. You need to tell them why. Okay. Give me a crystal power. I'm going to fire it up now. Sorry. 
I'm a shit or get off the pot kind of person. That's just the way I've always been. I, I don't hold back. And if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I have no problem telling somebody how I feel. And that's probably why I'm still single. And I accept that about myself. Crystal power. It's the high priestess. My intuition guides me to the truth. I feel like the person you're dealing with knows what's up. They're just waiting for you to say it. One more. cups. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Yes, you are. Ten of swords. I see the truth in this ending. I don't need to say any more, but we're going to get a wisdom oracle. What's the wisdom oracle have to say? Go the distance, number 47. Four plus seven is one. One plus one is two. Two is the card of choice. Is regeneration. Four plus six plus ten. One plus zero is one. One to the two. The new start. Number 47, go the distance. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Regeneration, number 46. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or a loss is now being replaced by something better, more powerful growing in its place. Its rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. Hmm? Somebody needed that. It was you. Take it with you. It wasn't. Leave it alone. I love you guys. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate you. I will catch you guys next month around the Zodiac cusp time for your next read. So much love and be blessed. Peace, love, and light.